The Vardaman Rams didn't win a game last year. This season has been a roller coaster. Between trying to break the losing streak and overcoming the coronavirus, the Rams are using the adversity to their advantage and tried to make a push for the playoffs. Just kind of leaving in the past and just focus on winning in the future. The Rams broke its losing streak in week three of the season against Hamilton. Combine that with a win because of forfeit last week, and they are 2-1 and one in district. A win against TCPS tomorrow will put them in the driver's seat for a playoff spot. Coming off of two wins, better than we did last year with our 0-11 season. So we're just trying to work hard and keep it going. The little town of Vardaman, aka the sweet potato capital of the world, found itself in the national spotlight during the Holly Springs game on 9-11. Head coach Brennan Pugh coached from a lift because he was in quarantine. Brad Logan's tweet went viral with over 2,000 retweets and 11,000 likes. And we thought it might you know, make the local news and that kind of thing, but uh, didn't expect it to to sort of go viral the way it did. Pugh's wife contracted the virus. He coached from home for two weeks. His stepdad owns Neighbors Home Center, and he donated the lift to Pugh so that he could coach from a distance, a high distance. I think it was about 35 feet in the air. It goes to 40, but I didn't want to, I didn't want to peg it out. Uh, but it was kind of hard to see. I had some binoculars, but um, you know, I, we, we we made the most of it. And for the players, it was entertaining to see Coach all the way up in the lift. I mean, I thought it was funny. I thought other people would think it was funny, too, but I didn't know it was going to go that viral. We'd be on that down there, and I'd look up and see him in the lift calling to play. So it was different. Pew said his wife recovered from the virus, and oddly enough, he never tested positive. Now he's back on the sideline, and he's got a tall order in front of him with the Eagles. It's a tough task to, to slow down those guys and, um, you know, We've been working all week on, on what we think is the best plan to do that, and Friday night we'll see. You know, we'll see how it works.